Like, we're actually engaging the player to the point where they're fearing for their life when they see these gingerbread men. So, Night of the Living Bread is a virtual reality game inspired by Left 4 Dead. It involves the player going into an HTC Vive virtual reality headset and destroying enemies by using the motion controls and moving through the level with a teleportation system we have. I'm gluten intolerant. The HTC Vive, it allows the player to be in uh, actual three-dimensional space they can walk around in. It's, the term is room scale. Players are able to uh, walk right up to an object, walk around it, while the object itself doesn't actually exist in real life. Their job is to uh, stop the gingerbread zombie threat that is threatening this hotel that the player is uh, going through. The Omnom Nomicron, the Book of the Bread, that has unleashed a horrible curse on the Red Velvet Hotel. Players use uh, various bakery-themed weapons to destroy the gingerbread zombies that have sprung up all over the hotel. And they're trying to move their way through, uh, destroying hordes as they go, ultimately destroying the book. Project is awesome. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, so we're doing this uh, networked VR shooter. Uh, it's very, it's a zombie survival game, kind of adventure-themed. Uh, a little leaning on the horror side, because zombies, but uh, everything's bread-themed. It's actually based on this original project from two of our friends. They made Night of the Living Bread, which was just a top-down arcade shooter. You're a dude with a shotgun running around. There's like hardcore rock music playing, and there's gingerbread men coming at you. They're all groaning like zombies, and you shoot them, and they melt into icing. And it had this awesome duality of like this nitty-gritty like dude with a shotgun, like, I I'm going to take on the world, and there's like cookies coming after him. So. He, he very much feels like he's, he's this tough man, he's here, he's, he's gonna fight all the dangers in the world, and all the dangers are sugar-encrusted, like men walking around with their gumdrop buttons. We, so originally, um, this game was gonna be a 2D game that um, Scott, Chris, and uh, one of our game designers, Dakota, were just gonna make, and they were just gonna make this nice top-down 2D game, and we're like, hey, it'd be funny if you had a bunch of voiceovers. Uh, like, oh, you know, like, just really, like, 1980s, like, action movie voice lines. So uh, we were uh, in the car driving to Denny's lamenting that we were working on these separate projects and they're both going to be really cool. And then uh, we were like, wait a minute, why don't we just smash our ideas together, go all in on our final project for senior year. Mark and Scott got together and they were like, hey, why are we doing this separately? Why not just do this as one big team? We just brainstormed for like an hour uh, throwing ideas back and forth about how to translate a 2D zombie like defense game into a 3D uh, cooperative uh, virtual reality game where you could see other players. As, as soon as we, real, we realized this game was going to be the spiritual successor to Night of Living Bread, we knew for a fact because that was what we, one of the main things we loved about the game is how punny it was. Oh man, there's so many. Uh... One of my favorite original ones is The End is Rye. The End is Rye. The Crusaber, which is a saber made out of croissant. So it's the Crusaber. We took it as like one of our design pillars that basically every item in our game should be able to be a pun. And that's probably inspired us way more than it should have. One of my favorite things that I saw was like, people at first aren't very scared of the gingerbread. They're cartoony, they're, they're funny. They're like, okay, whatever, they'll shoot it. They'll, they'll beat it down with like a, with one of our melee weapons, they have to. Then they'll like turn around and they'll see one, and it has it has this glowing eyes and this glowing face, and that's when they freak out a little bit. And like even just getting a tiny bit of a scare is exciting. The first time we put in the new model with the animations, uh, one of our guys on our team was like, he's like the tough guy, right? And so he's just like testing stuff out, and he he walks around a corner, and he's not really paying attention because he's used to playing the game a million times, and he turns around, and immediately there's three zombies right in front of him, and he like jumps. He's like, oh my god, like ah. When we saw that feeling that we can induce in somebody, we're like, wow, this is what's going to make our game. This is a game. That, this is the thing that's going to make like not only professors but people that play test their game excited. Better dead than bred. <laughs>